So I found this old 1968 Red Line Python at a Hot Wheels show they do every third weekend of the month. I think the guy charged me a dollar for it. From the looks of it, you might think he got a really good deal, given it has no wheels and no engine. But in reality, if you restore it, it was a steal. So in this very short video, we're going to restore this car to its former glory. Taking it apart, we can see that, other than the engine, most of the important parts are still here. I'll need to change out one of the axles and provide new wheels. The cars from 1968 had interchangeable wheels, wheels that are still being reproduced today, so that's not a problem. The engine is also not an issue, as I happen to have a reproduction engine for this car. The only real work is the body. Someone in the past has stripped the paint off and then left it outside, from what I can tell. It's going to take some serious sanding to get this back into shape. Luckily, the Python doesn't have a lot of detail, so we can really go to town on the sanding. Sanding that I won't make you watch. But it took over an hour of sanding with 400 grit, and then about 20 minutes of polishing to get this finish. Since the Python is not a high dollar car, there's no reason to go all out on the paint job. So in this case, we'll use the poor man's Spectroflame paint. Transparent colors from Createx that I got from Hobby Lobby. In this case, a dark red. Unlike the urethane paints we've seen in the past, this paint is not as forgiving. You definitely need to have some decent airbrushing skills to pull it off. Light coats are key. If you get any droplets, the whole thing will need to be stripped and repainted. You also need to keep a very close eye on how even the coats are going on. You don't want one side of the car darker than the other. That all being said, don't let the difficulties stop you. If you make a mistake, just dunk the car in acetone, dry, and try again. Since urethane paints that are color matched are not very cheap, this Createx paint is the perfect fill-in for painting those cars you really don't want to spend six bucks on the paint job. So here you can see how the paint turned out. This is with four coats. You can still see the metal behind the paint, and it does give that Spectroflame finish. However, it leaves too much of a matte look and really needs something on top of it to protect the paint. So I'm going to spray the car body with Tester's clear gloss coat and let it set overnight. Here we are 24 hours later and the gloss is dry. I've gone ahead and added the small accents this car has in the grille and on the back. The finish turned out great. I decided not to paint the top black. I always hate covering up Spectroflame. There are examples of red pythons that did not have their tops painted, so we're good there. I dipped the windshield in liquid acrylic to take out most of the scratches. I also fixed the base with a new axle and four new wheels. The new wheels are the only real expense in this car. Well, at least if you ignore all the labor spent sanding. So now all I need to do is put the car back together. So the finished product came out great and in marked contrast to what we started with. The best part was that the total cost in restoring this car was about 7 bucks, and I didn't have to use any of my expensive paint on a not so expensive car. The only real issue is that the paint is not color matched, as this red is not the same red Mattel used on the original car. For this car, I'm okay with that. Plus, most of these cars from 1968 come in hundreds of different shades, as the environment and metal quality over the years have changed their color. So really, you probably couldn't pick this car out of a lineup. If you're into collecting the original Hot Wheels, and you're okay with restoring cars you do yourself, then the sky is the limit. I have an entire collection of Sweet 16 cars, all restored, all started like this one, and all together cost me less than 100 bucks. That is much less than what a near mint version of this car cost. So keep a lookout for those corroded treasures. Pay that dollar while the vendor is snickering at you. And once again, thanks for watching.